women development of our sports. The last time we spoke, we did mention about the way you said there was plans on going for a swimming pool for the area. How far has that gone? Well, that is part of the State Emporium. The State Emporium also has a swimming facility. That swimming facility is going to help us develop fast. In fact, it all came about because when the engineers came for the, the initial feasibility, of the, this thing. They had a time of walking to the beach. The place is so far from the beach. And they saw small, small boys swimming. And they thought those boys had the ability. So they thought that if we added swimming to the facility, uh, Ghana in eight years, 10 years time could have people who will compete favorably with the world in swimming. And that's what informed Senate. And immediately Senate took it on board and then uh, added swimming facility to it. It's an Olympic sized swimming facility and um, it will afford us opportunity of getting our young ones to learn rightly the way to swim so that we can compete favorably with the world. It's unfair not to talk about Ghana losing to Egypt. Our chances look very slim. Well, let me, let me say uh, uh, this is one match we could, we could have won. I think we played well. Um, look, watching the match, I think we played well. Unfortunately, we did not we did not bite enough. Um, the, the, we played all the good game, but we did, the, our our attack, our shooting, wasn't the best. Our, our goal attempts were minimal, and uh, that's the only thing. But I I take consolation the fact that there are still matches to be played. I would have wished we won this match uh, as a ministry and as a government. We did everything possible to encourage the team to win. It's unfortunate. They do not win. Sometimes that's what happens in football. And um, I'm hoping the players themselves, desirous of qualifying for the World Cup, will take the next matches seriously. Um, we can beat uh, Congo DR. Uh, we can beat Egypt here. Egypt here. We can go to Uganda and, and win against the Uganda. And so I watch the Uganda match against Congo. I don't think they are anything. There. When they are, they are not too much of a compact team when they are playing on attack. Um, they, they, when they came here, they played a strategy. I'm not sure they will play the same strategy uh, back home. They will open up and that will afford us opportunity to, 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 to have an equal footing in that match. I'm very optimistic we will win against Uganda in Uganda. We will beat Congo home and away and also beat the Egyptians. It's unfortunate. The penalty, for example, was very unfortunate. I thought, I thought it was a mistake that shouldn't have happened. It's unfortunate because... Uh, Harrison Afo wasn't a player who is fond of those mistakes and it's unfortunate it happens. Every player in this world, sometimes one day or the other, makes a mistake and, and, and the team suffers for it. But um, we can forgive him. He's a very wonderful player. It was never his intention to cause us, but it happened in a game. I would want us not to dwell too much on the negatives and look at the, the, the games ahead. Uh, we can always come from behind and qualify at the expense of Egypt and Uganda. It's always the notion, or should I say, the Black Stars has lost its national adulation, where Ghanaians hardly go to the stadium to watch them these days. How difficult would it be for the Black Stars to qualify without the support of Ghanaians? Um, that, that's exactly what I'm doing now. I'm asking all Ghanaians to put the past behind us and uh, uh, all of us um, put our spirit and mind and support behind the Black Stars. So we need to qualify for the World Cup and uh, we need to do the best. All of us should support the team. I was a bit disappointed when I heard some Ghanaians were jubilating when we lost. I thought that we played a good match. And uh, With the return of Koji Asamoa and Asamoa Jan in the next match, I think the absence of Koji Asamoa uh, is, is one of the reasons why we're having a difficulty. He's a game changer. He's been magnificent in all our World Cup qualifiers. And I think that um, he coming back into the team, uh, let's pray that uh, injury does not take away any of our regular stars. And um, we should be able to qualify the, to the World Cup. I am I'm very optimistic we'll win against Congo. And um, I'm sure we'll beat Egypt handsomely. And they also beat uh, Uganda away. The atmosphere is such that after the game we lost against People are calling for the return of Fili Montari, Calvin Prince Boy. Would you agree for these two gentlemen to return to the Black Stars? As a, as a minister, I would say every Ghanaian, every Ghanaian uh, who has something to offer 
for the qualification of the Black Stars to the World Cup is welcome. Every Ghanaian everywhere who at every point in time is playing so well and need to play for the Black Stars is welcome. But I don't, I don't decide which players play for the Stars. That is the work of the technical people and that is the work of the Football Association. Uh, as a minister, it would be wrong for my, on my part to say this player or this player should be called to the team. And I would say that um, it is my expectation that at every point in time, the best crop of Ghanaians are assembled to play for the national team. The World Cup qualifiers began under your administration. How would you feel if Ghana failed to qualify to Russia? Well, let me say, I will feel bad. I will feel bad, but um, I will also always say that um, football is not the only sport in this country. Maybe this is the time when, when we're winning world titles, we're not doing any, anything in football. So today, if it is swung to football for a time, maybe who knows, God wants us to excel in another sp uh, sporting discipline. So let's take all on board. Um, England were not doing too well in football recently. They swung their attention to other sporting disciplines. Look at their performance at the Olympics. And the whole England is, is so happy with the performance of their uh, athletics team at the Olympics. So, so um, when one door is closed, another is many more are opened. So let's look at, maybe let's focus our attention on other sporting disciplines. But I still, I still believe that uh, football is all not lost. All not lost. Um, I watch our princess, black princess, play so well. and finally they lost to New Zealand. It, it has to do with something. I think we're lacking something in our, in our football, and that's what we're looking at. Our attack, our conversion, our mm, forward, and, and, and to some extent, I would say, our whole general attitude of the winning mentality. I think that is what is affecting us. And we should, the technical people should be able to diagnose these ones and give us the prescribed, uh, let me say, uh, uh, antidotes to those things. No, 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 just before you leave us, I just want to find out. The last time um, I came to your office with the heads of Ghana League Class Association, they made a request for you to help them in getting taxes to reduce from gate proceeds. How far would they? Well, the board of the National Sports Authority is considering that. I forwarded that request to the board, and the board is taking a decision. And then when they are taking that decision, they will forward it to us, and then we can have a negotiation with the Ghana League Clubs Association. But on my own, and with the support of the Galka president, uh, we've done something. We'll be able to secure an agreement with Metro Mass Transport Services, who will be offering transport services uh, at a very much discounted rate to Division One clubs so that um, it will ease the burden on them. Uh, we are also negotiating with the state transport uh, uh, company to be able to, to also offer the same services to the Premier League clubs. And um, this, I think, will go a long way because transportation is one of the uh, difficult, uh, 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 you know, uh, let me say, um, points of the, of, of the clubs. The amount of money they spend on transportation to and from matches is huge. Um, look at a team like Accra or Folk, if they're supposed to go and play in maybe Bolagatanga, the distance and whatever, but then if we can get a discounted rate. I think when we, we are finished with the transport services, we possibly will even be looking at the airlines to see whether the airlines in the north, now that the WA airstrip is okay, now that the Tamale Airport is international. We could even talk to the airlines too, to see whether they will also offer discounted fares to the clubs so that uh, it will facilitate, for example, Hazard for going to WOW or Stars to play, it will be much more easier to go and come back than to depend on their own uh, you know, buses and also their own means of transport. The wear and tear, not to talk about the expenditure incurred and also the pressure and the toll on players. I think um, all these things well, in a way, people do not see it, but it's it's very good way of solving the situations for clubs. On the gate process again, how soon are we going to uh, get your request forwarded to your office? Because the the, 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 the the ministry does not determine gate process. is is the prerogative of the teams, and then the NSA only takes certain taxes and for usage of the facilities, and also uh, the VAT 
that which is a national law, national requirement. Those are the areas we want to see whether we can have some sort of negotiation. Taxes are all over, all, all, all the time negotiated, so we can look at what to do. Uh, possibly let those people understand that it's uh, their own way of also supporting the development of the game.